matrix here, as you can see. And I'm having I'm having some issues with this following. Richard De Caesar is a Greenville traffic engineer. He says it's not easy to get a new stoplight. There are set national standards for traffic signal warrants. We can't deviate from those. So we would go out and collect the necessary traffic volumes, pedestrian volumes that we need to, to check against those warrants. The Caesar says complaints come in from everywhere. We started getting requests and started filing requests along the 10th Street corridor. And again, they came in from council members, they came in from users, they came in from students out that way. Greenville Police Lieutenant David Bowen says the city is trying to figure out how to make things better. The city and the state has noticed the increase in traffic. So there's been a, a study being done and to try to improve traffic. So some type of traffic calming needs to take place. Many different city officials make up a committee for that study. With a committee that's, that's built up of city reps, university reps, business reps, uh, the police, emergency fire. Billy Klein is a resident at 33 East. I think it helped out greatly with um, traffic. Um, definitely there's some mornings where you know there's too much traffic for the buses to even get out. Sometimes I may be late for class or cutting it close. Bowen says roads in the area have always been congested. This was always where people came from the coast to come into town to do whatever and it's always just been a little hub of where major roads intersect with 10th Street and Greenville Boulevard. Klein says he had several near wrecks there. Yeah, there's been a couple of times cutting a little close. I mean, there's a, a blind spot coming when I'm trying to make a right um, onto Greenville Boulevard. So, um, like I said, I think it'd definitely be helpful to add in a stoplight there. Klein advises anyone thinking about living in that area to take the intersection into consideration, something he wishes he had done. It's definitely something I should have, and I'd probably advise people thinking about living here or especially Copper Beach to, um, to think about that. City police patrol the intersection, but the decision of putting in a traffic light comes down to the state. I've seen a lot of um, cop cars pulled over and a lot of accidents recently, so I think that would also um, help out traffic-wise. That is a state-maintained road, it's Highway 33, so the city can have some input, but ultimately it falls back to the Department of Transportation in the state of North Carolina. Craig Moyer, Pirate News Network.